Okay, next up is the latest in horror films. This one is called Devil, and this is a concept and a produ pr produced film by M. Night Shyamalan. What a twist! Yes, indeed. Um, in my opinion, Shyamalan does better here than he does in his directing his last few movies, but at the same time, I have to think if this movie is as mediocre as his maybe he did direct it, it might have been slightly better, and this could have been his comeback. This is not the case. This is a film where a bunch of people get trapped on the elevator and realize that the devil is among them. I'm not kidding, that is the story. Um, and that is the whole movie, pretty much, with the odd turn and twist here, and, you know, and they try to build tension, you know, in this one little area, and, of course, you get the outside, you know, security, and plus people uh, outside of the whole elevator trying to figure out what's going on. The whole movie's not in the elevator, but, mind you, I'd say about 70% of it is. Um, and, again, they, they try hard. The actors are doing a decent job here. Nobody really overly notable. Uh, but, um, still, this is the type of movie that just had a good idea written all over it, but just did not have the best execution. This movie's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. There are horror films that I've seen that are a million times worse than this. And, you know, the 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 whole mindset is there. In it, I guess you say, it's weird to say this about a horror movie, it's heart, or I guess you say it's black heart is in the right place, but uh, at the same time, it's just, it, it, it doesn't seem to be beating, I guess is the proper way to put it. And, again, when you, when you watch a movie like this, you want... You want it to succeed. It's almost you know the type of film like, hey, that no, that's a good idea. Oh, this is gonna be great. You know, that's the type. No, it, it just really didn't succeed on many levels here. You know, there were there were a couple scenes I thought were really well shot. You know, the the movie, the camera angles in the elevator were perfectly done. When the, the attention among the actors was, uh, or the characters, I should say, were you know, you know, at least effort. The effort was there. This wasn't just some lazy slap together film. Make no mistake about it. A lot of effort went into this. But yet, it leaves a lot to be desired. And I find that that's the problem with most horror movies lately. With the exception of the Saw franchise and The Collector, which I saw last year. Um, really, I, don't, I can't think of off the top of my head anyway. Uh, maybe I'm missing a couple. I have too many horror films that have been that right awful. And again, I just think that the improvement of the genre is there. It's just they have one more hill to climb. I said that with Rob Zombie's directing and the Halloween films that he has done. Both just kind of missing the mark, really, on what it tries to be. Um, you know, they, they said the ambition was there, but again, just nothing else was. And that is really important in a horror film, you got to have that. Now, uh, I reviewed a film last week called The Last Exorcism, and it really, that, that, that film really understood the idea of what um, ambition with a goal is all about, and it really achieved that goal. This movie could have done that, but it didn't. Devil, I give two stars out of five.